everyone, welcome to a new edition of the Garrity Talks. My name is Lucy Ongai and I am the co-founder of the Garrity Awards, the creative award redefining creative benchmarks by showing the value of the female vision in advertising. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly Garrity Talks episodes. I am here today with Nicole Ellerton, Group Creative Director at the agency Cosette in Canada. And we're going to talk about the call for interest campaign that they have created for this year, which is our fifth year at Garrity. Hi, Nicole, and thanks for joining us today. Hi, such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's start by introducing yourself and tell us more about your role in Cosette and the agency. Yeah, of course. Well, my name is Nicole. Um, I'm a group creative director at Cosette here in Canada. Um, I joined the team about two years ago, and my role is primarily focused on managing the Google Canada and YouTube um, business within, within uh, Canada. Um, I also do some work on the General Mills business on brands like Cheerios and Pizza Pops. So you have prepared our call for interest campaign for this year's Garrity that we are celebrating our fifth year. What was the first thing you thought about for the campaign? Well, firstly, I just wanted to say how honored we were to, uh, to be asked to participate. Um, you know, the important work that the Garrity Awards is doing to just sort of create a space for female voices is something that the whole team was really anxious to jump in on. And there wasn't a lack of, of raised hands. Everyone sort of wanted um, to sort of have the opportunity to contribute. Um, so I'll just start there. Um, and I think, you know, it was, it was sort of an invigorating process. It's funny, like, you know, we go about our days and we have our briefings, but we never really tap in to all of the, you know, the powerful voices, female voices in our agency. We rarely work all together. So that was a unique opportunity, mm -hmm. like right out of the get go. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it allowed us a space to sort of just speak freely about, because we were our own audience, like what we felt about the shows and what it meant for us. And, you know, where each of us had our own awareness of the show, you know, five years in, some of us were more familiar than others. Um, and that's kind of just where we, we, where we, where we started. And what we learned is that, you know, being five years in, it's not a launch campaign. So what was, how are we going to speak about the Garrity Awards in a way that sort of gave a, a fresh take um, you know, there was a lot of traction and awareness was, and that was building year over year. And that was, that was really obvious. Um, but then, you know, we were made aware of some, maybe some identifiable barriers that the show was experiencing, um, maybe towards the work that was being entered, um, how the industry at large was unpacking this notion of an all female uh, jury and what that meant to the work that they were submitting and maybe ultimately how they thought the work was being evaluating. So that was that was part of the process and the learning and, and sort of where we launched out from. And tell us more about the discussions you had with the team. Were there any particular points you had more discussions about or you did not agree on? <laughs> you had a fight about? <laughs> yeah. Well, we kind of joked internally that, you know, we're a bunch of ladies, so we talked it out. We talked it all out. You know, a lot of our meetings were booked in calendar for like, you know, 30 minute sprints and they ended up being, you know, hour, hour long discussions. And, um, you know, but honestly, just because again, like we were the only audience, we, we, we just started by asking a lot of questions, you know, and, and, you know, what did we feel about the need? So things like, you know, what did we feel about the need to even have a show that was female led and just at the core like what does it what does it mean to us to be in an industry where a show is formed to address you know that that gap that that need that sort of missing piece what what were our potential blind spots within our roles and agencies um for the you know to consider the briefs that we were working on knowing that you know, we were doing work for female audiences and then maybe not, we hadn't even considered how they were then, you know, out in the world. And we looked at how, you know, yes, we know how the work is resonating within, you know, is a campaign successful in the real world of what was attraction? Was there an increase in sales? We kind of, that's what we understood, but like we never really considered who's evaluating the work in a judging room. And it was, it was kind of an interesting, uh, you know, epiphany of such it's just like oh well you enter a work into the award show but you never really considered is the work being evaluated 
by somebody who can appreciate the insights or the depth of um, you know how something resonates with a, with a target. Um, so that was kind of an interesting question that we talked a lot about. Or um, had we even thought about yeah the the makeup of a judging room? Um, and then I think a lot of you know juicy conversation was is how could we control the narrative potentially and get ahead of any bias or misconception um, towards you know having to call out an all-female jury because we're really proud of that and sort of what we kind of discovered is that we were all very passionate about making sure that the female element was always at you know at the center of our work and what we wanted to say but that it wasn't in any way something that we wanted to defend and so that was a really interesting balance that we tried to sort of to hit the right mark, you know, for example, having to explain that, you know, women are funny too. So submit your comedic, your best comedic work, or, you know, we buy cars and it's not just all about tampons and feminine hygiene. I mean, you know, that's, it, it, it sounds silly, but it, it kind of was, you know, part of the discussion. It's like, how do you talk about your strengths of being all, you know, an all female perspective without, you know, inevitably inviting in and you know, combating the bias of stereotype of what, it, what does that mean? Um, so ultimately we landed in exactly that, like that the Garrity Awards, our power is the perspective um, that we bring. Um, and, you know, that perspective that in the industry quite literally can't get anywhere else. Um, and we kind of just use that as our sort of North Star to sort of dig in what makes us distinctly different um, and showcasing the value of an all woman perspective without getting into the stereotypes. Mm. Yeah. You also mentioned you deliberately thought about not bringing gender into the equation, but the human element instead. So why was this? Yeah. So we, <laughs> it's funny. It's, um, we found ourselves always asking like, are we, do we have to defend, you know, why the show has decided to be all female led? We saw the value, but to an outward audience, if we bring in a female form into the visual, if we photograph women, um, you know, is that, um, is that already setting up a bias or an assumption or, you know, what if we just made it a bit, not necessarily about the gender, but just about a human truth or about just the power of like, you know, through a diverse audience, through different experiences, um, uh, different disciplines, geographic, uh, just geographically being different from different marketplaces. Like what is, just unpacking what perspective is and you know we kind of just forced ourselves to sort of try to keep the gender out of it but really hone in on what perspective was and that's kind of what guided us and you know we ran the gamut of work and you know just not just from the language but also from the visuals um of, of you know what felt like a fresh place to be um and ultimately we ended up you know not doing anything that sort of visually hinted um, at, at a female form or gender. Um, and we can show the work in a moment, but we felt like, you know, we felt pretty, like we were getting to a really nice space, um, again, where it just like the, the proof point was in the language and the messaging. And it wasn't really about like having to hold up a mirror to the jury room. We all, we all understood, you know, the power of a female perspective but maybe you know unpacking that through language and um some you know different ways of graphic of graphics that um that it wouldn't um skew for a bias in any way so yeah that was a really interesting place for us all to be and it it it, it, it kind of ebbed and flowed you know some days we were you know really passionate about like oh no but maybe we should like if we shy away is that like contributing to the problem and then i was like no but I think where it ended up was a, it was a pretty fresh place. So maybe actually right now it might be good if I share yes. my screen here. Yeah, exactly. we'll take a look at the work. <laughs> so this, this is just sort of a one page or sort of a campaign snapshot for, for the audience. But you can see that we had sort of six pieces 
we we felt actually pretty strongly that that was actually another thing we felt really strongly it wasn't just like it wasn't just one way of doing it i mean by the nature of perspective you have different takes on it and so we really wanted um the headlines to bring to life just a different facet of 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 a benefit of what does that mean what is what does it mean to have this 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 diverse perspective so our lead message would be you know our powers perspective but then the other lines the idea of you know changing the lens where new insights emerge widen the window of work looking deeper and the view others miss each one of them is just sort of uh it's it's like different proof point if i'm if i'm a creative and i'm looking at the garrity awards and I'm I'm looking at you know the the all of the other award shows within the season, and I'm looking at the work um, that we're considering entering. What is it about the Garrities that might be an interesting take? Um, is there is there is there work that I felt maybe is not gonna you know it doesn't have an audience? I mean all the award shows kind of have their little thing whether it's design or a little bit more skewing for craft or it's about effectiveness the, the garrity's really is about you know just widening the consideration um and and exposing your work to a really diverse um jury room um that you know that changing the lens how are we you know when a work is evaluated like you know just just that little slight change in in the lens of, that's being put on the work how is it resonating with that audience where insights emerge, you know, the discussion, like there's just purely like with all females, like maybe, you know, instead of just like one or two in a jury room when they're all there, that sort of safe space to just kind of go, hey, and have this discussion about the work and and to further that that conversation about, you know, how, how the work is landing and what does it mean to everybody in the room? Um, you know, naturally looking deeper. I think that just sort of speaks for itself, you know, um, and the view others miss was kind of a fun one for us because it's like, you know, just the idea of, well, you think it's one way and, and potentially it's actually, it's actually something quite, quite different to depending on who, who is evaluating it. Um, and when you have, you know, one particular angle, maybe it's restrictive. So each one of them is, is a really, uh, it, you know, it it's the, each one stands alone, but as a collective, we thought that it really gave like a wide breadth of sort of like a proof point of why, you know, it is a call to entry. So um, it's all about considering, you know, the work that that will go into the show and the work that, um, you know, we'll see uh, success in the show um, and to give each work a platform to, to be exposed to to an audience. Um, and then just graphically, you know, we were, we were talking earlier about, you know, not wanting to do anything that was necessarily too gender, mm -hmm. gender bending. Um, you know, we were very deliberate in trying to figure out a design system where just with slight changes and again, changing a perspective and, and scale and proportion that, you know, the idea of this very simple, fine line could be so powerful when, when grouped as part of a collective of many other lines and that it actually kind of mimicked the flow of conversation in a jury room you know with slight shifts of comment and perspective and added commentary that the actual flow of the evaluation could shift and change with it um, so that's kind of some of the thinking behind the art and then of course we wanted to stick within the garrity uh branding colors but we just kind of you know we broadened out the palette so there's different elements of purple in each one of these pieces. Um, again, you know, five years in, you're still establishing uh, the branding. But um, yeah, we think it's it's a fun kind of uh, vibe to to the work, and we feel like you know, even just sharing the work internally within within the agency, it elicited a lot of conversation, and that's uh, really was the goal. Um, you know, to get people to think about an award show through what it means once the work is in the award show. There's so much talk about, well, you know, you know, this was a, you know, this was a great ad and, you know, we feel like, you know, it's creatively provocative or what, what have you, but, you know, really making the campaign about the conversation that happens in the jury room, the evaluation, which was something refreshing. It was, it was an element um, that, 
it was a little bit deeper on why you would enter your work, um, getting people to consider um, that that element of the, of the campaign. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah. People always seems to be very curious about uh, how the yeah. jury works or what happens, no, like behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What what happens in there? <laughs> 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 and what what feedback or results would you like to achieve? I think ultimately the, the the feedback, well, as I said, like, you know, creating discussion, just getting consideration, I guess, eliminating the bias, really addressing, you know, um, you know, potentially the stereotype or the or the filter that may have been put on the show that for for those who didn't really understand the purpose of the Garrity, you know, it's about filling in the gap in the judging rooms and in, you know, some of the other shows. It's making sure that work that was developed for women and for that audience has a has a has a place to be evaluated by those who uniquely are apt to to understand like what that insight means in the work that anything that potentially could have been overlooked isn't being overlooked but it really is about like you know you submit your best work to the garrity you're not it's not really about like you know what goes here or what goes there it's like point blank you know a great work will be rewarded and awarded and you know and recognized um so i think it was a little bit about addressing the barriers trying to um remove the bias and just get down to to, to the work, great work, finding an audience if you didn't think it was there before. Hmm. Yeah, that is yeah. we hope to achieve. Yeah. Some great campaigns entered this year from everywhere yeah. around the world so that a jury can have a blast watching them and judging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will. Great. Well, so thank you so much and congratulations to all the team. I know it's, uh, I'm talking only with you, but there's a lot of people that have been uh, working very wow. hard on this. Yeah, so congratulations and thank you to all and um, hope uh, you have a great year with all your work and projects thank coming you. up. Oh, we're very excited and uh, yeah, here's to here's to your five and more for you. So thank you again. It was an absolute pleasure and and the whole team is is really excited about uh, what's to come for the Garrity's. So thank you. Thanks for thank inviting you. us.